All right, welcome back to the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel. Today was training day three. We got some pause squats, we've got some pressing, and we've got some more benching. Uh, a couple days more of training before uh, we get ready to go to the Starting Strength Fall Classic and uh, wage war. So uh, anyway, today I wanted to briefly talk about uh, assistance exercises for the squat. And so first we should probably define what an assistance exercise is. So it's going to be any lift that does not exactly resemble the competition version of the lift. So the competition version of the squat is a squat with the belt and if you lift in a federation that allows you to use knee sleeves uh, then it's the squat with the belt and knee sleeves if you use them if you compete in a federation where you use knee wraps then your competition squat is knee uh, you know squat with the belt and knee wraps and so anything that's not those very you know that type of squat would be an assistance squat as long as it trains uh, the legs so squat without a belt for instance is an assistance squat because it's not uh, exactly your competition uh, lift um, for instance uh, in addition doing a squat with knee wraps and a belt, if you lift any federation that does not allow knee wraps is an assistant squat because again, it is slightly different than your competition variation. So uh, variations that I typically program include pause squats of varying durations, tempo squats, pin squats, uh, safety squat bar squats, uh, occasionally we'll do our and we'll do squats without belt we'll do squats plus chain squat uh, plus bands uh, sometimes um, we'll do duffel bar squats we'll do high bar squats sometimes we'll do front squats split squats leg press belt squat um, you name it I've definitely programmed it and it really depends on the application that being said I don't think that there is really any particular squat variation that carries over to the squat the best, generally speaking, other than just squatting more often. Um, that being said, so some people some people will take that to mean, well, I should just do my competition squat or a very similar variation of it instead of doing any dissimilar variation. And I, I don't think that's true. I think what you run into there is one, it's difficult to control your total fatigue that way um, because in general your competition style squat is going to be much heavier than a two count pause squat or a pin squat or a tempo squat certainly. Um, and even though the leg press is likely heavier than your squat, it's less fatiguing than a squat because it doesn't load the back uh, nearly as much. So uh, you're, it's easier to control fatigue um, while still working with something that is hard for you to do uh, with the variations. So for instance, what I, what I mean by that is a heavy two count pause squat, uh, you might feel like you're really driving hard against the bar, um, but it's not as fatiguing as doing the same effort on a regular squat because the regular squat with the belt with not, without a pause is going to be heavier much heavier and so the, rel the the absolute intensity is lower on the variation and it's less fatiguing um, but the relative intensity is, is going to be about the same. Um, so that's you know one reason why I program in variations. The other reason is to get the trainee excited about doing the movement. So there's something to be said about really enjoying your training and being excited and motivated to go push yourself hard um, you know and, and execute things uh, technically uh, you know with some good technical uh, ability. And so I think that the variations allow the person to do that as well uh, better than just doing only the competition lifts. And so um, for the squat, for instance, I think just doing squat with the belt every time you squat in a given week, um, I think that that's a good technique to use as you get closer to the meet, um, particularly, excuse me, if you respond well to that sort of, um, that sort of uh, volume and frequency. Uh, but for others, that's just going to beat them up. So I think you have to end up playing around with this stuff a little bit. Uh, that being said, I, I don't typically program um, squat with a belt as the only, you know, uh, uh, assistance type squat for people uh, who are in the intermediate or advanced phases. Um, I'll, I'll only do that maybe a week or two out from the meet um, if, if I think that that's a good strategy or if they have previous history of that being a good strategy. So in general, I'll, wa I'll wave through different variations. Usually there'll be a primary variation, which is going to be a a pause squat or a pin squat or overload squat 
or a safety squat, bar squat, really depends on the person and the volume and intensity that's gonna, gonna depend uh, uh, on the person as well and what mo most likely what they were previously doing. And then I'll usually do a second uh, squat, so they'll be squatting you know, about three times a week, but that secondary squat might be a leg press or a belt squat or lunges or step ups or good mornings or RDLs. It just, again, depends on the person. And uh, so more squatting isn't necessarily always better because at some point, um, some people not, might not be able to tolerate it. So as a coach, you just really have to know who you're dealing with. So anyway, that's like five minutes on squatting assistance stuff. Uh, my favorite go-tos are going to be pause squat, pin squat, safety squat, bar squats, uh, and the belt squat. Those are those are my 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 personal favorites. But I definitely have programmed other stuff for other people and other stuff other uh, variations for my. Uh, I have a, I've had other variations uh, programmed for myself. So. For more information on this kind of specificity talk, you can go uh, check out my article, The Double Funnel of Programming. It's over on barbellmedicine.com. And, you know, we'll keep talking about these nuanced sort of answers uh, on the YouTube channel and on Instagram. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll uh, catch you later.